plaintiff, Erica Simpson, says she and the defendant were good friends until the defendant had sex with her children's father and later married him. Eric is suing her former friend for car damages. Defendant Jessica Butchie admits that she married Erica's ex, but says they're now separated because he cheated on Jessica with her friend. Jessica denies owing Erica for the damages. Tell me what happened. All right, well, first of all, I just want to say that um, me and Jesse, we used to be really, really good friends. Um, we were real close, but then um, I guess a bombshell happened. I found out that she slept with my son's father and then later married him. Mm. So, um, I mean, it kind of went downhill from there. Had you been confiding in her at any point regarding him? Yeah, that's 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 the worst part, I think, about it. Me and her were really close. Um, it was like 2002. <clears throat> he had actually got locked up and she would come over my house and we would, you know, we were really close and I would confide in her. And apparently she was using everything that I would speak to her that's about twisting it and like using it to her advantage to kind of, um, I guess, get involved with him herself. So That's not true. Okay. I mean, I found when he out came that, you know. home from jail, was he twisting? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said she was twisting it no, or no, somebody no, no. was twisting. <laughs> She's not. Twi well, I don't. She was twisting what I would tell her. <laughs> oh, it's okay. not true. He and wasn't then, twisting. When oh, he he's came. very twisted. I will say that it's. Yeah, he's no, twisted. All twisting. You know how you walk. <laughs> He went in walking all right and he walked out twisted though. <laughs> That's not true, right? Okay. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. You know, he would tell me that, oh, she told me you slept with him. And, you know, whether it was true or not, you know, yeah. either way. When did that happen? Uh, I don't know the exact date. Me and him actually split up in 2006 because he had actually slept with one of my other friends. So, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it was it, that's that's the twisted part because me, her, and the other girl were really good friends, and then them two were even better friends than me and her. It, it, it's going to get real twisted. <laughs> it just it's just too. Yeah, he was on the friends and family plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to tell me about the relationship before we oh get to the God. car damage? Our relationship is pretty much been the last year we've been separated. But I learned a big lesson. You sleeping all this. with your friend? Right. <laughs> he is. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but the relationship between me and Erica, we've known each other about 15 years, I'd say. And for the last 10, it's been back and forth between Lawrence and everything and all this situation. But I just think that she's brought me here today kind of to get back at me for everything. What you gonna do to get back at the one that got you? Give a word some. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't take up all my cases now. <laughs> Is it to be the one he would now? Nah, she'll be coming next. The way he cheated on with her time. friend. She cheated with his for her friend too. Oh, he che he sleeps with everybody. Everybody's friends. Everybody's like, well, friends, mamas, yeah. cousins, sisters. It don't Family. even matter. What would I try to get back at Family her for? And friends. I mean. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. You want to tell me anything else before I mean, we get to the car he, damages? Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to clear up what she said. Like, why would I try to get back at her? He was mine first. You know what I mean? I've known him since he's had the first hair on his head. You have known him since he was 12. I mean, chose to marry me. Yeah, but that's not what he says. I mean, pretty much in a nutshell, he still calls me. He says he only married her for insurance purposes and things like that. But, but I don't buy anything it. that he says. It doesn't matter because... We have three children together. He didn't go anywhere, you know, before, and he's still going places before, so you didn't please him either. So I think we both should throw in the white towel. <laughs> yeah, he's not We're over it. it. He really, car yeah. damages. Why okay. does she owe you money for car damages? Well, me, like I said, me and her used to be really close, and like a piece of me wanted to still. I don't know, call me and try to be the bigger person. But I knew that since she married him, and by the way, I found out on April Fool's, but I thought it was a joke. Anyway, but I found out they were married, so I wanted to be the bigger person and keep it civil because we have three kids together. So obviously she's gonna be a part of my kid's life. So we were working on that. Anyway, well, it was like, um, it was January 11th and I had asked her to, um, I, I went over there and I needed to run some errands and I found out my license were suspended. So I didn't want to drive my van. So I asked her if she would. Well, actually it was me, her and this other girl that um, we, we started driving and uh, pretty much I kept telling her to stay away from this bus. This bus was turning left 
I don't know if she looked down for like two seconds, but all I know is as she was going towards the bus, the <coughs> wheel's going this way. The bus is over here. So if you're trying to avoid something, We're wouldn't on ice. you turn this way instead of this way? I mean, Most I don't know. people would. Right. Me and her were fighting over the wheel because I was, didn't understand. Why are you turning the wheel this way? The bus is this way. Let's go this way, you know? Really? Either way, I mean, I feel the She bus said you were her. trying to get her back. Sounds like she was trying to get you back. <laughs> Was the we bus on, on your ice. side of the car? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was on my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not. I never even thought about that. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> we were on ice, Your Honor. It was it ice. Was nothing personal oh, against we were, Erica whatsoever. I, yeah. I mean, the bus driver. He's. I think he stopped too far, but his left his butt tail out. end was hanging out into our lane, so I had yeah. no choice. Once we went around the corner and I hit the brakes, the ice. You know, we just kind of slid on the ice right into the bus and we kind of bounced off the bus and went straight again. Yeah. All right. And what it did was no damage to the Metro. It did more damage to the headlight on her car than anything. We headlight. Have to, yeah, it was, it was more than a headlight. Do you have the picture? Yeah, I do. I have a couple of Yeah, pictures. we have pictures of it. And, I mean, and it did no damage to the bus whatsoever. None at all. I have the police report. Um, what type of car? It's a, it's a, it's a Plymouth Voyager. Uh, actually, the, the reason I got this van and why it's so, like, I'm really pressed to get this van fixed is my brother-in-law passed away and so did my dad on the same day. And my sister bought me that van with the money that she got from the insurance insurance claim. I thought you were going to explain why you have a minivan, period. Oh, I have six children. A lot of people children. are shaming <laughs> minivans or think they have a particular... I own a minivan and I just bought a new minivan. People think I drive Rolls Royces or Mercedes. I have a minivan. Right. Just bought it. <laughs> Brand new. Kids won't ride in it, though, but who cares? <laughs> they will. They will. Right? Nobody somewhere. ride in that minivan. <laughs> <laughs> say, well, you all drive your cars or trucks. This yeah. is what I'm riding in. When he came home from jail, was he twisting? <laughs> no, you said she was twisting it no, or no, somebody no. was twisting. You know how you walk. <laughs> Plaintiff Erica Simpson was friends with the defendant until she had sex with the father of Erica's children and later married him. What was the discussion regarding the payment, um, if any? She agreed that she would get, you know, the parts and she said something about having her family members put it on. So um, we made the promissory note, which I do have. And lo and behold, she said that she would have it taken care of, like during income tax or whatever. I don't oh, know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, you I don't never know. That. Watch me. Yeah, I do. And, and yeah. what have I said about people who tell you, pay you when the income tax comes? Well, that's why I got a promissory. So you never see it. <laughs> I signed the promissory note buying parts, not a total complete replacement of the front end. But you said you would have family members put them on, which that never I will purchase either. a fender and a headlight. And a roof or and the hood. hood. Yeah. When the taxes go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Whenever the word tax and repayment come in the same sentence, it's not happening, ma'am. Parts may be installed by a family member of Jessica. Right. May be, not shall. Right. I have to go with the agreement. Well, how much are the parts? Um... I actually had, this is, a, I had two Who other. Who suggested may as opposed to shall? Me, because I couldn't <laughs> yeah, promise my family you. members to somebody. Right. Parts may be installed. Right. That one little word. Right. And she suggested it. I wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote the promissory note. So I thought you that was the best thing. You saying it big? <laughs> <laughs> Start not to like you. <laughs> Took the woman's man. Now you wreck her the car. Whole neighborhood took the now you man. wreck her car and come in here talking big about how you tricked her. Oh. <laughs> Next he gonna wreck your car and give you a bogus. He did that. Uh, he did. I think he did. He did. He did. He did. Now yeah. I'm back. <laughs> and burnt my house down. <laughs> See that. And burnt my house down. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, he's a hateful, he's a miserable piece. I was just having fun, which I'm sorry to hear that. All right. I'm granting your parts. $1,174.73 is your judgment. Good luck to you both of Thank you. you. I don't think anybody can tame him.
him. I don't think he's worth anybody's time, but I try to be the bigger person and work things out. And I got slapped, you know, slapped in the face twice. But, you know, I guess you won't see me doing that, that kind of thing again. We live and we learn. <laughs> We're both done with him. Whatever. Good luck. Because, you know, he's not tameable. You should have learned by what he did to me that he would do it to you. I don't know why you didn't think of that. So. Yep.